the affordable, sleek and light 15-inch Lenovo IdeaPad 700. At first glance, this multimedia notebook reminded us of the Z51 and Z70 models, but the Chinese powerhouse has once again proven that their forward-thinking design will continue to bring them more international awards. The IdeaPad 700 is fairly compact given the price range and all of the hardware inside. It weighs around 2.3 kilograms and is 22.7 millimeters thin. The lid and bottom cover use a stylish and cool matte white plastic, but for those who are not as avid on that color tone, the notebook also comes in black. The bottom piece accommodates one big vent opening for extra airflow and the main exhaust vent is positioned at the back of the machine. Opening the notebook, we see that Lenovo has put a pretty decent touchpad. The chamfered edges around the trackpad helps it stand out. The input device offers accurate gesture control, smooth overall experience and it's not wobbly. The Archetype keyboard by Lenovo makes an appearance with an adjustable LED backlight that will give you enough visibility in dark environments. The keys have a slightly shorter travel but subjectively that doesn't reflect on the pleasant typing experience. The things that stand out in the design are the decorative grills on each side of the hinge. These grills also adopt the front-facing JBL branded speakers that provide a full and rich sound. An overall straightforward, clean and simplistic design. The IdeaPad 700 features a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS panel with 142 ppi and pixel pitch of 0.18 by 0.18 mm. The in-plane switching technology offers a noticeably better color reproduction as well as much better viewing angles. The display offers fairly good color reproduction out of the box and you will be satisfied by the accuracy with the naked eye. And as you can see, the tonal response curve is pretty close to the L-star, which is the optimal value for the human eye to perceive colors and contrast changes. Unfortunately, the screen uses pulse width modulation from 0 to 99% screen brightness, but at a higher frequency of 20 kHz, which means that the negative impact of one's eyesight is greatly reduced. Still, users with extra sensitive eyes might feel some kind of discomfort. We would recommend you use our health guard profile that reduces the negative impact of pulsation and the blue spectrum, securing your eyes and body. I've included a link to the profile in the top right corner of this video. However, the presence of PWN across all brightness levels except 99% is a drawback that must be considered, especially by users with sensitive eyes. The Core i7-6700HQ is suitable for heavy applications in gaming. We compare the Lenovo with other notebooks with the same CPU. You can check the full test and review of the notebook in the Laptop Media website. The Lenovo has a GeForce GTX 950M graphics card which has 2.GB of DDR memory. It is commonly used as a multimedia GPU and for light gaming, as its properties can handle some more demanding applications. The notebook comes with a standard 2.5-inch Western Digital Blue 1TB hard disk, but one of the best features it has is the M2 PCIe SSD slot. The battery capacity given the high energy consuming Full HD IPS panel and the quad-core Intel Core i7-6700HQ processor is pretty decent. For average use and web browsing, the notebook withstands for around 4 hours and 30 minutes. But hardcore gaming will take its toll and drain it for an hour and a half of playtime. The IdeaPad 700 shares almost identical cooling system with the Lenovo Y700, and we are a bit skeptical of its cooling capabilities. However, the slightly less powerful GTX 950M appears to be a good fit for the current cooling design and doesn't cause any thermal throttling on the CPU. Despite the higher internal temperatures, the notebook held pretty well and its surface remained relatively cool. Final summation for the Lenovo IdeaPad 700 is that we are pretty satisfied with the design design and build quality. It provides excellent performance thanks to the Core i7-6700HQ CPU and the GTX 950M GPU. Still arguably, the best feature this notebook has to offer is the support for M2 PCI SSD slot, making it one of the cheapest multimedia solutions on the market that supports the latest storage technology. For more information about this model and